People have this problem of not being able to admit they're wrong. Including me, I do it all the fucking time, but you know, some people just take it too far. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm right, motherfucker. Like, if they're right, they're right. If they're wrong, they're right. It's like it's a never-ending cycle. Fuck. Like, they can know they are completely wrong and still continue to defend their falseness. And this is bad because it can it affects things such as, you know, friendships, relationships, work, you know, etc. Shit, I mean, just sometimes you just gotta own up to it. Huh, look, left hand, right hand. Nah, bitch, you ain't right, I'm right. You're wrong. Ha 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 ha. Motherfucker. Because if not, you're going to get caught up in this whole, I'm never wrong, one of those deals, and then you're going to become one of those people that are, that are just super hard to communicate with. Oh, Travis, what you doing? Writing? Because I'm fucking right. Like, say you always argue with a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Because arguments are pretty much who's right and who's wrong. And by the way, everything I say in this video is fucking right, so I don't want to hear none of your shit. But say if you're always telling them that they're wrong and you never shut the fuck up to analyze the situation and realize that maybe you're wrong. I mean, damn, you're, you're, an, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're a closed-minded asshole who thinks they know everything. It could be completely obvious that you're wrong, yet you're still not fucking wrong. Two, two plus two, two, it's fucking 40. Hey bro, come here. Your mom was born in New Zealand. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? No, no, no. She was born in Ohio. <laughs> nah, man. Fuck you. She was born in New Zealand. Trust me. This motherfucker tried to tell me where my mom's for us. Bitch. Shit, here's a couple more examples. Stomach growling and shit. You're wrong. You're not hungry. You're not wrong if you shut the fuck up, bitch. Alright, class. So I want everybody to take a look over at Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams missed every single question on this last test. <laughs> now class, this is a prime example of nigga, fuck you, bitch. I got every one of them motherfuckers right, and I'm sure of it. <laughs> and how can you be so sure? Have you took in this class before? <laughs> Shit, probably. Nah, no, so what? No, no. <laughs> That's what I thought. So, uh, class, let's, uh, everybody, let's, let's take some notes real quick. Alright, so I want everybody to write, I will try my best to never be Travis Williams. Bitch. Stupid! Dance with Tagness. When you with him, you falling off. When you with me, your ass thicker, huh? That could be love. She said she love me, I'm no dummy. All she want is to get money, cause this be. That was good. Uh, shit, this your GPS, but I'm gonna need you to make a left at that next stop sign. <laughs> shit. Fuck that, I'm going right. Because I'm always right. Going right over there where it says do not enter. <laughs> shit. Dumb bitch! Motherfucker, you've never been there. Ignorance. <sighs> Another example, I guess. The other day, somebody left a comment on one of my Instagram pictures because I have my uh, watch on my right hand and they were bitching like, you have your watch on the wrong hand, it goes on the left hand. Well, guess what, little bitch? I apologize for being left-handed. You don't wear the fucking watch on the same hand that you, you write with, fucker. Honestly, though, like, sometimes you just gotta admit that you're wrong. You know, that'll get you so much further in life. You know, people will respect you for the fact that you can own up to your shit and they don't gotta worry about you always either being lying about some shit or fucking just just being a little bitch. Girls, too, you need to admit you're wrong sometimes because y'all be prideful as fuck, too. So, but I'm not saying that you need to admit that you don't you don't got to say that you're wrong if you're not wrong. If you're right and you believe you're right, don't say you're wrong. What for what? Until until it's proven, don't say it. Cause that makes me think about when I was in elementary, some little asshole stuck a crown in the uh, the little pencil sharpener, the one you stick in like that and spin it. This motherfucker got the whole class stuck in class cause the teacher saw it like, hold up, nigga, who the f all y'all motherfuckers sit down. Ain't nobody going nowhere till I find out who did this shit. <laughs> y'all heard? So he was just chilling. I had to get on the bus and shit. So I was like, man, somebody need to fucking talk. Somebody better speak up. But, you know, nobody said shit. So I was just like, whatever, man. Fuck it. I did it. Fuck you gonna do? I didn't say that, but I was just like, I did it. So she was like, all right. And then everybody else left and shit. They let him go. But as they were leaving, they're like, why'd you say you did it? You didn't do it. Oh, no shit, bitch. I know I didn't fucking do it. But you're not gonna say anything about it, are you? Yeah, so sh get the fuck. 
fuck out of here. But anyways, I got off easy though, cause me and the teacher, we was cool. We was cool, we was tight, we was tight. But she was just like, you know, I can't believe you did that. Whatever, my nigga, just go home, roll up one for me, you know, get one. She didn't say that, she was just like, go home, and I was like, thank you. What's up everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you agreed with me any type of way, then give it a like, share the video. If you didn't agree with me, then you're wrong. So you know, my subscribers make the world go around, not yours, but mine, and I uh, I, I just appreciate you guys so much. Ah, man, you guys, are, you guys are cool as fuck. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time I upload.